A fatal error occurred. Failed to connect to ESP32 timeout waiting for packet header. This is an error on which I have spent long hours trying to figure out what's causing it and how to fix it. If you're struggling with the same error on Windows, stick with me, I'll show you how to fix it in this video. For example, in my case, the issue manifests itself on a single Windows computer out of four I have, and it doesn't really matter at which baud rate I'm trying to upload, it can be 115K, it can be 900K, it doesn't matter if you're using Arduino IDE or Platform IO, I still get the error because it's not caused by the IDE. And also I have experienced this with both FTDI and Scilabs chips. So sometimes the behavior can be random, meaning it might work one out of 10 tries, which can get really frustrating, especially if it happens in the most inappropriate times as these problems tend to happen. So first I tried understanding the issue. This is clearly a problem with how the ESP32 resets itself. It doesn't go into the correct bootloader mode so we can upload code to the ESP32. And uh, by looking at this repository, which is managed by Espressif, we do get some info on the expected sequence and we learned that the ESP32 should have GPIO0 pulled low during reset for it to go into serial bootloader mode. Now reset is triggered by pulling the enable or reset line pin low. They don't give us a clear timing diagram of what this should look like, but I'm going to assume the state of GPIO0 is red while the enable signal goes back high to release it from reset. So the logic thing was to uh, put a scope on these uh, signals and check it out. If you are wondering about the small uh, green programmer board that you see here, uh, this is called Volink and it's a USB to serial board that I designed and showed in Volog 356. The PCBs were provided by PCBWay.com which is the official PCB provider of the Volog YouTube channel. They are my go-to source of professional printed circuit boards and I encourage you to check them out for your next project. Their website is linked in the description below. And here is the scope capture, the enable signal is on the yellow trace and the GPIO0 signal is on the blue trace. And remember, I said GPIO0 needs to be low to go into serial bootloader mode for code upload. And it's being read when the enable signal is released and goes high. And what do we see here? A small glitch where IO0 bounces high for about 4 milliseconds. Now, if it just happens that the ESP32 reads the state of IO0 during this particular window, it will read IO0 as high, so it will not go into serial bootloader mode as we need it. And this might seem very obvious and easy now, but trust me, it wasn't as easy to figure out while I was trying to program my ESP32 boards, but couldn't do it due to the dreaded error. I also wasn't sure why this was happening on one of my computers, but not on the others, by using exactly the same USB to serial board and same target board. I now believe the issue only happens on some computers because of the uh, slight differences between USB interfaces and operating system or driver differences, which might translate into uh, slightly different timings. The auto reset circuit is uh, triggered by the serial lines. So if there is slight timing differences between those, uh, that might, might end up in a different behavior. Now the easy fix for this problem is to just add a uh, small capacitor to the uh, enable line and I went with a one microfarad ceramic capacitor but you can use a wide range of values. Just use whatever you have around 2 microfarads, 4 microfarads, 10 microfarads, 20 microfarads but the higher you go the slower the enable line will be reacting. Because the trick with the capacitor on the enable line is that it slows down the rise of the enable and so the chip starts uh, booting up uh, basically comes out of reset uh, just a little later enough to surpass the glitch event on IO0 and read its state afterwards uh, when it's a stable low. Here is a scope capture with a one microfarad capacitor on the enable line and you can see the rise time on enable is much slower and so the reading of IO0 happens later when the level of IO0 is low and stays that way. Now you could be adding this capacitor to your target board and in fact most development boards tend to have this on board. Uh, I have even designed this capacitor on uh, some of my newer boards but you can also add, add the capacitor to your uh, USB to serial board like I did here 
and it doesn't matter if the uh, development board or your target board already has a capacitor you will just be adding another one microfarad capacitor in parallel with the existing one which will make the enable rise time just a bit slower nothing too serious so that's my choice for this fix i have added this uh, small surface mount one microfarad capacitor between enable and ground on my usb to serial board now, to be honest, I think uh, very few people are affected by this error because most development boards tend to address the issue by having the uh, capacitor on the uh, right next to the ESP32, but some boards might not have it. And I think this video might serve as a good resource for those struggling with the same error. It would sure have helped me a lot to find such a video when, when I was dealing with this error and I didn't know what was causing it. If you'd like to support the channel, start by hitting that like button on the video. And if you'd like to do more, you can support me on Patreon by using the link in the description below. You can do that with just $1 per month. I also encourage you to check out my Tindy store, which will be linked on screen right now. You'll find there a selection of my uh, past projects in limited quantity. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.